Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants from Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Showmott, and I am here to rant about some stuff. Not really. Yeah, sure. I do what I do. But before we jump in, thank you for your support. Thank you for your continued support of this channel and pushing it forward. We greatly appreciate it. Doing some great things on YouTube. Had, had a big day with our viewership on Instagram today. Um, very excited about that as we continue to grow this channel. We are on multiple platforms. As, as you may know, all of our full videos go on YouTube. However, they don't go on Instagram all the time. A portion of them will because Instagram limits you to 15 minutes. So many videos do go in full, but a lot of them don't because they go over 15 minutes. That said, follow us on Instagram as well. We're growing Instagram. Had a day where we had over 300,000 views on a couple of videos that we did, a couple of shorts. All the shorts that are on YouTube will be on Instagram. And we're also now pushing, pushing them to TikTok as well, which is also growing. So it's a great, it's, it's, it's a great experience where we're growing this thing and, and doing it as well as we can and, and making it available to as many people as possible because not everyone uses one platform or the other. That said, let's jump into the topic of today. Brittany Griner was recently interviewed at the WNBA All-Star Game. And for people that don't know, Brittany Griner is a six foot eight center for the Phoenix Mercury. And I'm sure you should know who she is because she spent a year in a Russian prison and had a the, the a war a war criminal traded to get her back into this country. So you should know who she is if you don't. She recently had a child. Not her specifically, but her wife had a child. I don't know the specifics of how they went about it. If it was um, <clears throat> through in vitro, I presume it was through in vitro. I'm going to guess that there was insemination done artificially. Um, but that's their business. But when Brittany Griner was interviewed, she made a statement that has seemingly taken everyone aback and caught everyone off guard. Take a look for yourself. <laughs> How is that feeling? Pops. 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 Oh, let me get Let's rewind mom. this. Let's rewind this real quick. You're about to be a mom. <laughs> How is that feeling? Pops. 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 Oh, let me get Pops. it together. Pops. About to yeah. be a pop. Pops. Please tell me how exciting that is for you and what you're looking forward to most. I'm super excited. Um, well, I mean, I guess I'll just drop it. He's here. Um, so he's here. Yes. Seven, eight, 24. Um, yeah. Seven pounds, eight ounces. Yeah. That's my man. All right. <laughs> Beyond the fact that Brittany Griner sounds more masculine in her voice than any almost any man that I know short of James Earl Jones or Morgan Freeman. She said to you that she is dad. Call her pops. She wants her son. Congratulations, by the way, on your newborn child. But she wants her son to call her pops. She is the man. She is telling you that she is a man. I don't even know how to, I don't even know how to talk about this because this is the most this is the type of area where I really won't, won't, don't want to delve into too much because I, I don't speak I, I can't speak intelligently about this stuff. But if you're sitting here identifying as a man and you're telling us that you want your child to call you pops, which is a man, how can you play in the WNBA? Is it a stupid question that I'm asking? Because this is the topic that's gone around the entire country with males transitioning or saying they're going to transition into females who then compete against females. But yet they're still males. It's very complicated to me. 
But I think the WNBA has to pay attention to this. Is Brittany Griner taking hormones? I don't know. Because one of the things that boys or males do when they want to transition to females is they take hormones or whatever it is to go the other direction. Would Brittany Griner be taking hormones to go in the direction of being a man? Some people may think I'm crazy for bringing this up, but I've seen a, a few videos on this and I'm just completely confused because I don't understand how you can be in the WNBA and sit here and tell people that you're a man and you're the father of the child. We know you didn't inseminate. We know you didn't have intercourse per se with your wife. It's not physically possible unless you've had something done and we're, not, we're unaware of, but I highly doubt that because you'd probably be out of the WNBA and you wouldn't be able to play. And there's a lot of things that come from complications of surgeries like that. But you just told the world that you're a man and you play in the WNBA. Maybe I'm crazy. Again, congratulations on your child. No problem. But you play in a female sport. You play in a sport against women. And you just told everyone that you're a man. That you're pops. Not to mention your voice is deeper than it was when you played in college 10, 12, 10 plus years ago. Your voice is extremely masculine, which makes me wonder, are you taking hormones to, hormones to make yourself more masculine? I don't know. But this is something that should be looked at. <laughs> she just told you that she is pops. Am I crazy? Someone help me here. I need to hear comments from people because I don't know what to think right now. I don't know what to think. And for people to sit there and say, giggle, giggle, hoo, hoo, hee, hee. There's questions of people that think that she's a man already as it is. And she says this. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, it's just, this is kind of a laughable rant situation, but I'm completely confused. I, I, what do you think? What are your thoughts on this? If she's referring to herself as Pops, as a man, should she be able to, allowed to play in the WNBA? Should they be checking her for, for, for drugs? To see if she's taking hormones to make herself more masculine. Is she looking at having a, a gender reassignment? I don't know. Is she transitioning? I don't know. Is that what her plans are? Because if they are, she should not be in the WNBA. She shouldn't be. Just the, way I, the same way I think that boys that become girls should not be competing against girls. But at the same time, if you're if you're transitioning to become a man as a woman and still playing against women, it's no different to me. So let me know your thoughts. What do you think of this? Do you think Brittany Griner having her child call her pops and call her a man? It's what she wants. What do you think of this whole situation? I'd love to hear it. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring that bell. Come on now.